Fab. It's going to be part 50 on the mongrel build. Can't quite believe that it's uh, on 50 parts for this car. I definitely never uh, imagined it would have gone on for 50 episodes. But at least we're getting somewhere now. Just hit 40,000 subscribers, so thanks to everyone who's subscribed. Jobs for today are going to be to sort the fuel filler neck out at the back and get the bonnet mounted. Or if you're in the USA, the hood. All right, so I've just bolted all the tank in place. My original plan was I had this filler neck, filler which I'd cut out of something, motorbike tank actually, I think. So I was gonna weld that into that hole and then um, join that to that with a piece of tube and then that to the tank. But this will actually join straight into there and then the hose will still fit. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a piece the same as this with the same bolt hole pattern and then just weld, weld that straight into this hole here or around it. Bolt that straight in, make a little tab for this to connect to that to hold it all nice and tight. Hose is on, job done. I've actually lost the uh, filler cap. It's just like a black plastic one, so I was thinking I could probably get like, just get like a little aluminium cap with like a knurled edge on it or something. That I could slip over the top, like glue over the top of the plastic. So I'd have like a nice aluminium filler net cap instead of the plastic one, just to kind of hide it. But that's what I'm gonna do. That's gonna be the, the quickest, easiest option. The first thing I need to do is get rid of the rest of this lead all around here and then make up, measure this, cut one out on the CNC and I'll, I'll cut it out of something quite thick because this has got a curve in it and this is going to have to be flat so that it'll seal. You are going to have like a raised up bit one side and sort of flat here, but once it's kind of filled around, I think it'll look good.
I was gonna make a tab off of here for that, but I don't think it really needs it. It's, it's pretty solid. So bracket or no bracket. I suppose in the event of a crash, the extra bracket could be the uh, difference between this pulling a hose out and spilling fuel everywhere. So I will uh, make a little bracket for that. This is just going to sit in the middle because normally this would have a return lip to hold the uh, top of the bonnet, but the bonnet, the bonnet's sagging down a little bit. So I'm just going to put this in and um, this will hold the middle of the bonnet up. come up a little smidge. When I weld that, that'll bend up. And it'll sit right where I want it, I think. Right, so I've got all my um, mounting points needs a bit of uh, adjustment but things got to come up a little bit but I'm already wishing I hadn't used these uh, clips, I think they're gonna be all right for the wings. I don't know if it's just because they're cheap ones, but they're a real pain in the ass. And uh, I think it's gonna end up with a lot of scratches. You know, I'm gonna end up scratching the paint a lot. That came off easy, but 
I put it on and off a minute ago and I nearly threw it across the workshop because it was driving me nuts. We'll see. I found another company that makes these, um, like a decent quality one, but they're 30 quid each. I've got 12 on the car, so that's quite a lot to spend just on pins. But we'll just have to uh, see how we get on with those. That fits pretty good. Needs a little trim on this, tight on these corners here. So we'll just trim that down. Gaps are pretty good. I've got a bit of adjustment up and down on these uh, pins and then I've got a bit of adjustment uh, in and out on these ones. Right, that is it for episode 50. And here's to another 50 episodes. Uh, Andy Jakin, I promise you there will not be another 50 episodes. There's going to be a few, but it's not going to be 50. But yeah, that's it for this one. Cheers for watching. See you on the next one.